Alright, I want to do a quick little video about two shitty artists by the name of Cheap Keith and Trinidad James. The reason why I'm doing a video about these two artists is because both of their careers are pretty much dead. And why I say that is because both of their contracts got dropped from their respectable labels. I'm going to talk about Chief Keith first. About two years ago, somewhere in 2012, around the holiday season, I've said Chief Keith sucks. He's a bad rapper. He can't rap. All he does is talk about how much of a gangster he is, how badass he is, when he really is not really a bad dude. I mean, cause seriously, what a real gangster would be crying like a bitch in court. Why I did that video? I got a bunch of goofball dick writers coming up to me saying, You're a bad guy! You're a hater! You're a troll! You're just jealous because he's making more money than you! Saying stupid stuff like that. And another artist that I did a video about called Trinidad James. And I said Trinidad James sucks so bad that I don't even want to even make a video about him. But being that so many people basically begged me to do it and pleaded me to do it so many like request after request after request so I did it and I listened to that song all go with everything that song was god awful that shit was trash man for real it was a trash song no lyrics no nothing and um and why I, I did a bit about him and surprisingly I had no thumbs down on the video these record labels like Interscope Records and Def Jam they're just they just make these artists go out there and give them money. It's all about marketing value. So how much money they can make off these artists. I'm pretty sure they looked at Trinidad James, Interscope Records looked at Chief Keith, and they think thought that oh, if we sign this guy, he's gonna make us a lot of money. He's gonna make us really fat and rich. You just watch out, people. He's gonna be on MTV, BET, and we're gonna just gonna keep shoving him down people's throats, and we're gonna make a lot of money because these people are dumbasses. They'll support anything that's popular, and that's exactly what happened. It proves that rappers like this are completely full out, blown away, borderline. Oh, shit. Rappers like this, we don't need them. We don't want them. We don't have to have them. So, I'm just so happy that these two of these whack rappers are gone. I, I know there's two. There's a lot of whack rappers out there. A lot of clown jack-in-the-box rappers out there. But at least look on the bright side. There's no more. These two are no more. Two whack rappers and we don't have to deal with anymore. Yes, yeah, so thumbs up to Def Jam and Interscope Records for dropping these clowns rappers just get rid of them Trinidad James cheap keep the hell with them they suck they're trash the garbage and to all the people out there that's been giving people like me and everybody else a hard time just because they have the balls to come on YouTube and tell the truth well here's to you I'm pretty sure a lot of you people out there are saying why the hell did I like these two jackasses this is because you never did like them it was all just a mainstream media brainwashing trash that's all it was. Just playing with your heads, people. That's all it is. I mean, come on. That's why I don't listen to the mainstream media. Because let's get serious. It's the same people that tells people like me and everybody else that My Little Pony is great. So, you mean, you mean to tell me that they know what they're talking about when it comes to hip-hop? So, there. It has nothing to do with hating, trolling, being jealous, being swagless. It's, no, it's reality. These guys are fucking trash. The hell with them. So fuck Chief Key, fuck Trinidad James. It's official. They suck.